Trending in Charlotte this morning, Derby drama. Reaction still pouring into the shocking results of the Kentucky Derby. He keeps battling on. Maximum security. Country has one, two, no to the line. Maximum security wins the Kentucky Derby. So there's a big chance. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe not. And it remains. I think they're, I think. You hear that. I think, wait. Wait a minute. I think there's a big chance you were at a derby party. You were at home. You were watching that race. And then all of a sudden they overturned that ruling for the first time in 145 years. You guys you know Ben was talking about how sometimes these fouls do come into play in horse races, but it never has happened in the derby. So maximum security did not win, which ended up costing forty two million dollars. You guys, people lost that when they made all those bets. So then Country House got that big title. But here's the thing. People are now wondering, should Maximum Security really have lost the race? Should this ruling be overturned? So take a look at our poll right now. Do you think Maximum Security should have been disqualified? That number drastically changed from the last 10 minutes. It was 80% to 20. Now it's 57% to 43. 57% of you say no. You know who has a lot to say about it is President Donald Trump. Take a look. The Kentucky Derby decision was not a good one. It was a rough and tumble race on a wet and sloppy track. Actually, a beautiful thing to watch. Only in these days of political correctness could such an overturn occur. The best horse did not win the Derby, not even close. But a, not, a lot of people not agreeing with that opinion either. <laughs> However, we're seeing some other responses. NASCAR has bumping, hockey has checking, football blocking, et cetera, et cetera. But wedge a horse between two other horses in a packed Derby race while leading the race and your horse gets disqualified? Seriously? So that's a good point, you know, comparing other sports, at least giving some context there. The, the jockey elbowed the other guy. That's what disqualified him. Some people say that. Some others are saying, though, it was the fact that when the horse's legs crossed, crossed. over into yeah. Country House's line of track right there on the race, that's what disqualified him. So there's still a question about that, Carolyn, too. One other response. Anyone else absolutely disgusted with the outcome of the Derby? Maximum security dominated led the entire way, 100% deserved to win. And so, again, just a lot of questions. We want to know what you think. Well, look, now it's 50-50. It's been, this has been changing the most I've seen in a long time. It was literally 80 to 20 just 10 minutes ago. So a friend of mine bet on Country House. Oh, oh wow. just because Country House was, the, by the way, the the one, to one, right, likely not the, what is it, the most likely to not to win. Yeah. Yeah. Right, total long shot. So he was like, I'm just going to put 50 bucks on it. Did it? Won $3,000. To your point, though, I'm still confused exactly what, what went wrong. I thought because it was the they elbow all, they or the... They all grouped together anyway, and so it's... I, I feel like they're always in each they other's were, way. They were showing the close-up video of when uh, Maximum Security's legs crossed over and then Country House got bumped yeah. back, and that's apparently a foul. And it's, again, for the first time ever, so I'm sure we're going to see more response because Country House is, uh, is the winner and wow. Maximum Security wants to overturn that. Interesting. We'll see. Larry, what's the one thing we need to know in weather?